Aloha and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about uh, the LED matrix. We haven't used this yet. Uh, we're going to be using two of our 74HC595 IC chips, and we're going to um, go ahead and take a look at what that looks like here. Uh, this is going to be for project 16.1 LED matrix. Um, I'm going to tell you up front, this is going to be quite the intense experience. So, um, you look at the component list, it looks rather innocuous. Uh, we've got our, our usual suspects up here. Then we've got two of our IC chips. We've got one eight by eight LED matrix, which yay, can't wait to use it. Uh, then we've got our uh, eight resistors and we've got jumper. And notice they don't put times whatever up here. It's probably times everything you have in your entire box. So, um, yeah, I'll show you the schematics for that in a second. It's going to look pretty nasty. But anyhow, um, we've got our LED uh, display here, and it's got 16 pins on it, the top and the bottom. So that means we're going to need 16 pins uh, coming over from our uh, device. Uh, but uh, you know what we're doing here. We're not actually using it. We're going to use uh, four pins to control the IC chip and let that do all the work for us. But uh, yeah, we're going to have fun. But instead of uh, you know using the four to control eight, we're going to use uh, four to control sixteen. So we're going to be using two of those uh, IC chips. So um, this gives you a little bit of the theory on how it's set up, and uh, it's rather interesting. Um, so uh, in order to facilitate the operation and reduce the number of ports required to drive this component, the positive poles of the LEDs in each row and negative poles of the LEDs in each column are respectively connected together with uh, inside the LED uh, matrix module, which is called the common anode. And the other type is uh, uh, called the common cathode. So we're gonna be using the common uh, anode for our matrix. So um, we get down to here, and this is where it's gonna be kind of fun. Um, and I, if you want, and this is totally up to you, you can uh, try modifying this to do other types of things if you want. Uh, they've arranged, and you'll see this in code, but they've arranged uh, for us to make a smiley face, and that's all good and you know well and good. But you can make it whatever you want, really. Um, but uh, here's how a common anode LED matrix works. First, we're going to choose 16 ports on the Raspberry Pi Pico to connect to the 16 ports of the LED matrix. Then we're going to configure one port in columns for low level, which make that column the selected port. So we're selecting the port with that. And then uh, we're going to configure the eight port in the row to uh, in the row to display content in the selected uh, column. Then we're going to add a delay value and then select the next column that outputs the, co uh, the corresponding content. This kind of operation by column is called scan. If you want to display the following image of a smiling face, you can display it in eight columns and each column is represented by one byte. So when you look at this, you can kind of get a, a feel for the, um, you know, for what we're going to be doing. We've got uh, the different, uh, hold on, actually, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through, uh, we're going to loop through uh, for the matrix, we're going to go through eight. We've got one byte that controls this whole thing. So each bit of the byte is going to be either on or off. And then we're going to take that. So uh, like the first one here, uh, we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, 1, 0, 0. So this is uh, the characters, the eight different uh, pieces that we're going to have to send to make this smiley face. OK, so um, yeah, so this is uh, pretty interesting. So we can uh, go ahead and modify this. Uh, if we wanted to to come up with some different design. So if you wanted to do an X or if you wanted to, you know, maybe uh, put another one over here and over here and then extend this to up there and then you can maybe make a circle mouth or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. It's, you know, whatever you want to do, be as creative as you want, or you can just do this. I'm not going to take off points if you just do exactly what they have here. Um, because uh, I'll admit this is going to be a big project and there are so many wires here that uh, this is really going to be a, a, a challenge. If you've had trouble in the past where you've not paid attention and put one wire in a different place, you're going to really love this project. So anyways, um, 
going down here, uh, it's uh, we're talking about some of the same concepts that we used before, but uh, let's just read along. Uh, to begin, display the first column and then turn off the first column and display the second column. And then you're gonna keep on doing that all the way through uh, to the eighth, then turn off the seventh column and display the eighth column and then start the process over from the first column again, like the control of LED uh, bar graph sample. So what we're doing is we're uh, doing it line by line and we're doing it so fast that it looks like it's lit up the whole time, but really, you know, it's it's going so fast that you can't see us turning off the other seven when we do like number eight. So uh, the whole process will be uh, rapidly uh, repeated rapidly in loop through the principle of optical afterglow effect and the vision persistence effect in human sight. We will see a picture of a smiling face rather than you know the individual columns of LEDs turned on one at a time. So. Um, uh, then to save uh, the number of uh, GPIO pins that we're uh, doing, we're using uh, a 74 HC 595. Uh, really, we're going to use two. But, uh, when the first column is turned on, set the lights need to be displayed to the, fir uh, to the first column to one, otherwise to zero, as shown in the example above, where the value of the first column is 0, 1, uh, 0 x 1 c. This value is sent to the uh, IC chip to control the display of the first column of the LED matrix. Following the above idea, turn off the display of the first column, then turn on the second column, and then send the value of the second column to the IC chip. Uh, until each column is displayed, the LED matrix is displayed again from the first column. So you're just essentially looping through it over and over. And this is what the circuits look like. Um, you can see we're going to be using 21, 20, 19, 18 there for our data. We're going to have our uh, power and our ground. Um, but this is where the fun begins. And uh, yeah, so this is why I was uh, telling you before, um, you know, we're going to change pace at some point. And this is where we're going to change pace because if uh, people have been having trouble with, uh, you know, five wire, uh, lineups and everything else, this is truly going to be daunting. I mean, I, I've tried to count the number of wires in here and I just get lost. So I just say, pull out all your wires, get ready. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here. Uh, by fun, I mean torture. Uh, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. Uh, we can delve into the code a little bit as well. Uh, the code is doing some uh, pretty complicated stuff there, but uh, you know, again, you're going to have to have the uh, my74hc595.py uh, module uh, on your Pico, but you should have that already from before. Um, and let's go down and look at the code. So we uh, do our import of the module here. We import time as well. We've got our smiley face, which is simply this, uh, you know, this set right here. So um, then we have our uh, our number data. For making the you know the space the zero one two three four five six seven uh, or whatever we're going to go through yeah all the way up to f and then uh, we're going to blank again there so then we initialize the chip uh, we're telling it to uh, set the different things <clears throat> the eighteen is going to be the data um, I think nineteen is going to be let's see hold on let me pull up my notes on this. Um, so 18 is going to be for data, 20 is going to be for the clock, 21 is going to be for the latch, and 19 is going to be uh, to enable the output. Um, then we're going to do a loop through it. We're going to loop 100 times. Uh, then we're going to set uh, calls to uh, one, essentially. Then we're going to loop through the eight. Uh, the, we're going to loop through the uh, eight columns. Then we're going to turn off the chip. We're going to shift out the first uh yeah we're actually you know going through the first thing so we're going to take the first uh character or the first column and we're going to shift that out then we're going to uh clear then we're going to sh uh, shift the columns over then we're going to enable the chip then we're going to sleep we're just going to loop over so we're going to go through eight different columns one by one doing that and it's going to take the data and shift it out then down here we're doing that for the numeric data we're going through um, uh, 136 times, uh, and we're just going to go through the range. We're going to just uh, do pretty much the same thing. We're going to take the numeric data, which you know the numbers are uh, represented here, and we're just going to push that out. We're going to loop through it over and over and over, and it'll have the same scanning you know effect. It's going to be so quick that we just see the persistent uh, number. So that's what the code looks like. Um, 
it talks about it here a little bit, gives you the explanation. Uh, not a whole lot of explanation on it, but uh, <clears throat> it's it's enough. <laughs> but anyways, um, so this is what we've got to do. Um, so we're going to go and start uh, wiring up everything. So this is going to be fun. Um, here we have, uh, let me do a quick switch over here. Uh, I'm going to stop the share. And I've got a slightly different uh, setup today. So you may see a little bit of uh, shaking and everything, but this allows me to kind of uh, play, you know get a better view of our board. So um, we'll start off with our uh, pins for uh, power. So we're gonna first set up a, we'll try to, I'm gonna try to do uh, the proper colors here. So for um, the power, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go to 3.3. And stab in over here, and we're going to use the inner. Uh, we're going to use the inner one, and again, like I've said in the past, you know the diagrams they have do not line up with what is out there. So we're going to put we're going to be using the uh, the one that's marked as the ground, <clears throat> not the positive. But yeah, just keep it consistent. We'll be fine. Oh, we'll be fine. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to wire up. Um, we're going to wire up the uh, pin at the end of our uh, chips. So we've got two of these to do. So we're going to go in uh, right here, and we're going to go into, uh, we're going to go in here. And then we're going to go <clears throat> uh, and do it the same on the other IC chip. So we're going in here. And we're going in over here as well. So that's the second one. Uh, now we're going to go in. Uh, we have them on our chips from the second to the uh, second pin to the last. Uh, over here, we also have. I'm going to take this and go in. And one more time. So this is the power. So we've got uh, five of them in now. Uh, do we have anything else up on the top? No, we do not. It looks good so far. I'm trying to see if we have anything else that needs to feed in. And it looks like we're good. So um, the next thing we want to do is, uh, hmm, I just noticed that uh, my, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna move this over because the spacing is not really that good. Uh, I wanna move this down a little bit because we've got to put in eight uh, pins uh, or eight uh, resistors in here. So let's move this down a little bit. So we've got it right there. And that if we uh, move up there, you can see that we still have, oh wait, hold on, no. Am I plugged into the, no, I'm not plugged into that one. It's it's kind of hard to see, but if you look in, we do have two full ones that we can use there. So I'll just leave this here. So um, we've got our power. Uh, now let's look at our ground because we got to start messing with our grounds. So um, let's go ahead and take ground. We're going to run it from the bottom and we're going to go from uh, the third pin over here. So I've got third pin. And here we're going to be going into the inner rail, which is marked as positive. So we just remember it's doing the opposite of what we think. Or, uh, there we go. So we've got our first ground wire set. Now let's look for our second one. Our second one, we're going to go from the last pin on the bottom of our IC chips. So we're going from here and we're going to run that into the near. And we're going to do another one on the last pin over here. And go in there. So yay, everyone's happy, right? All right. So we've got our three grounds set up. I don't see anything else going into our ground. So I suggest you do something similar. Get your power and your grounds right first. And make sure you have it because I've dealt with uh, some people one-on-one -on -one in the last week or two that are being a, probably a little bit hasty and uh, going 
you know, and not realizing they've got power going to ground, ground going to power. And that's dangerous stuff there. When you've got the flow going the wrong way, it's, uh, yeah, bad things happen. So uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, get your power and your ground figured out first. Then we can start looking at the other pins. So really, um, it's very simple what we're using on here. We're just going to be doing power and ground, and then we're going to use our four pins up here. So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, setting that up. So the first one we're going to do is going to be pin 21. And we'll use a little bit longer pin for this. I'll make it a blue pin. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a blue pin. We're going to go into 21 over here. So we go into 21 right there. And then 21 is going to feed into, uh, let me see, the top of the IC chip. It's going to go into the one, two, three, four, five, six pin over. So three from the end. Six pin over, it's one, two, three from the end. And feel free to count twice to yourself if you need to to get that right, because you do not want to uh, mess that up. So it'll be three from the right. So one, two, three. So it should go right next to the red wire here. So that is good. So it goes right next to the red wire. So you can see it's the one, two, three, uh, third, uh, yeah, the third pin over. Okay, so we've got that one. Now we're gonna run pin 20. So pin 20 is gonna be going to, let's see, the one, two, three, four, fifth pin. So it's gonna be right next to the, the blue one that we just did. And let's make this one, I don't know, an orange. Let's go for orange if we've got a longer orange one. Um, well, maybe if it's not even an orange or yeah, let's see about pin 20 here. So pin 20, we can have go over uh, to here and yeah, it'll just plug in right next to it. So we've got uh, that pin going. So now we're gonna plug in uh, pin 19 and 19 is going to um, the one, let's see, pin is going, it's going into the fourth one. So uh, the, it's going into pin four. So to do that, let's use a darker uh, darker one. So we're going to go pin uh, over here and we're going to go into here. And over here, I'm going to make it a little bit different. I'm going to put it up on the top instead of right next to the other pins. And the reason I'm going to do that is our pin here uh, is going to also uh, stretch over and go to the same pin, the corresponding pin on the second one. So we're just going to go ahead and put in a little pin right there. So we're going to be sending the uh, same uh, signal that comes in on there. We're going to send to the same place on the other one. So this is going to go to the one, two, three, fourth. Uh, it's going to go over to the fourth one on this. So let's dig through the board here. So we're going to go to the one, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. So I'll just put it in right there. So I'll just put it in right there is fine. So that's going to go to the fourth one. And now we're going to, uh, now that we've done that one, we'll do the uh, the next pin, which is 18, which is going to be our data, I believe. And we're going to take, uh, let's say, a green one. And we're going to go from 18. And we're going to go over, and I'll check that again, just to make sure. 18, we're going to the third one. So we go into the one, two, three, one. The third one right there. So let's show you that. So it's going into the third right there. And then um, uh, let's see. So I've got those set up. Um, I just realized, though, that uh, when we did the other pins, I didn't fully. Uh, yeah, so the uh, four, five, one, two, three, uh, one, two, yeah, four, fifth, and sixth pins are mirrored over to the other one. So I just did the fourth. I didn't do the fifth and sixth. So let's go ahead and do that now as well. So I wanna take the um, the fifth pin, uh, one, two, three, actually, yeah. So um, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth pin, the this uh, orange one right here, I'm gonna move that up to the top like I did the other one. And I'm gonna stab it in right next to it. Uh, oops. So I'm going to put that in just like that, because now I'm going to uh, 
wait, hold on. I, one, two, three, four, yeah. All right, now I think I see a mistake that I've made. Um, let me just go in and, oh no, uh, not a mistake. That was pin 19. So let me just double check. Pin 19 comes in over third, it goes to the fourth one, right. Let me feed that over that, that was right. Okay, so uh, that one is correct. But uh, the, the next one that I'm gonna do is gonna feed uh, from here, the fifth one over here, it's gonna feed to, I'm gonna plug that in here. And then that one is gonna go over to this side. So it's going over to the one, two, three, four, fifth pin on this side. So I need to go into pin. I know where it's gonna be because I've got my orange here. So it's gonna go into the fifth pin right there. So, all righty. So now we've got the fifth pin and now we need to do the sixth pin as well because the one, two, three, four, five, and sixth pin, these three are daisy chained. So we're gonna daisy chain over on the next one as well. So let's go over here first. Let's uh, move our, uh, let's move this uh, nice blue one up a little bit and we'll go up to the top of the red board. And then I'm gonna go in here and plug it in there. And I will put it into right next to power over here. And I believe that is correct. But this is kind of where if I, do have problems going on later. I'm going to double check and make sure that I've got my fourth, fifth, and sixth pins uh, correctly put in there because, yeah, um, that's a, a place I could have made a mistake. But when you look at it and you see, like, okay, I've got three wires going over, uh, you know, where do they connect over? And they should be, you know, side by side on there. So, um, so we've got that handled. So that's the top row, except for. Uh, you'll notice that we didn't fill in the second pin here. The second pin, um, if I can move that over without showing my dirty fingernail, uh, I've got the second one is open there. We haven't put in on the second. And that one, uh, that pin is going to go over uh, to the LED, and that's going to go to the one, two, three, fourth pin of the LED. So I'm going to take a, a longer one. I'm going to take a long white one to go from there. And I'll do it on the outside up here. And then I'm going to go over to, and I said it was the one, two, three, fourth pin over, fourth pin on this. So we go to the one, two. And this is why it's nice to start on a number, one, two, three, four. Then I can just easily find the place to plug. So um, there we go. So now we've got our entire upper side. Uh, completed. Oh, wait, I just noticed. No, I'm not actually correct. Uh, we don't have our first pin handled up here. So the first pin, we're going to jump her over to the, um, that's going to go over to our one, two, uh, hold on, that's going to go over to our third pin on the other one. So let me go ahead and set that up. We're going to use a, let's use a small blue for that. So to go over here from the second pin, hold on, our pin position, hold on, let me go over, or no, our, I'm, I'm sorry, our first pin. So we're going on our first pin here and we're gonna jump over to uh, the one, two, third pin on this one. So essentially it's, uh, where is my, ooh, ooh. So it's right next to the power and it's gonna to go to the third pin on the other side. Hold on just a second. Uh, one, two, three, not to the third pin here. So we're gonna go, um, so this one, two, three, it's gonna go right next to the uh, orange here, if I can get it in. So right there. There we go. So I've got that done. So now let's take a look. Do we have all of our pins filled? Yeah, we've got all the pins on the top of the first IC chip, uh, you know, covered. And remember, we have the three that are, we're going to have two wires going in to, to uh, daisy chain over to the other one, or actually four that are going to daisy chain over to the 
to the other chip. So we've got the four inputs coming from our GPIO pins into here, and then we're taking four inputs and we're sending them over to here. So now let's look at the bottom side. Well, <laughs> before we go any further, let's uh, bring out our favorite things in the world to work with, and that is our resistors. Uh, resistors um, make life fun. So we're gonna use resistors and we're gonna put eight in a row here. So let's go ahead and start uh, putting those in and pulling our hair out. So uh, we'll go ahead and just start because we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, right there, seven, eight. I guess we could uh, just start on the number for, you know, to have an even thing here. We'll just start at two out and go to two. Yeah, let's try to stay two and two. And we'll put these all next to each other and hopefully they'll behave and not touch each other and bother each other like my kids do in the car all the time. Um, let's see, this is really hard for me to see. I'll go in there and I believe over here. Yep, so that's the second one. Then the third one, wait, did I, I think I, yeah, I think I missed the, yep, I missed this side. It should be over there, but of course in doing that, I'm unplugging it over on the other side, such as life. And I plug it into that side and try to work the other one over. Now we've got three side by side. Let's see, is that three in? Yep, three in, okay. Uh, then we're gonna do the next one. There. And one more. It's not just one more, it's four more, but step by step, baby steps. So we've got that one in. And I think I'm making it look easy now. And if I'm not making mistakes, uh, we'll find out when everything fries later on. But anyhow, I've got to straighten out another pin here. And we're going to put this in. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Just had the horrifying thought of what if I'm not actually properly projecting my cabling here as I'm doing this? What if I'm actually showing you my PDF file still and all this effort is wasted? And I don't want to think that anymore. So I'm just going to keep on doing this. Stabbing in resistors. And they're getting more mangled as I go, but I've got six in, two more to go. Just please, for the love of pizza, let me get it done. Uh, so here we go. Now we're gonna do one more. At this point, I realized I should have been a farmer. There, I think that I've got them all in there properly. Let me see if they all line up. They all line up on that side, beautiful. And they all line up on that side, yay. That's not too bad. I mean, I, I've done worse. I'll take it. <clears throat> all right, we'll uh, go with this. And now that we've got those nasty things in, let's start hooking up uh, let's see, I just want to make sure that we've got everything on the second IC chip uh, connected here. We did our inputs. Uh, nope, we've got one more that we have to run out. 
So remember we took this white one over here and we ran it over there. By the same token, we've got to take one, uh, the uh, pin over here, which I think, I think it's pin 15. It's like the odd data one on this side. The data is all on the bottom side, except for that one uh, 15 uh, on the top. So we need to run that to uh, somewhere. So that one is going to run to, uh, let's see. The f oh, that's going to go to our first resistor that we just did. So that will go to that resistor over there. So let's use a Oh, let's use a blue for that. Um, I may need to use a medium size blue, but I think I only have long blues at this point. That's fine. Um, like I said, we're gonna be using pretty much everything, including the kitchen sink here. So um, I go in here, I'm gonna to try to show you and stab into the second right there. Then we're gonna go into the bottom side of the resistor. I'll just put it right there. Uh, so that's the first one. So looking back to the top of the second IC, we've got uh, we've got the first one going to uh, power. The second one is going to that. Then the third one we uh, uh, we daisy chained with the first. Then we've got uh, the next three are the inputs that are daisy chained as well. So all those the four in a row are daisy chained. Then we have uh, the second to last going into power, and then we have the last one open. So now let's start looking at the bottom side of our IC chips. So that's where the fun is gonna be. And by fun, I don't mean fun. Uh, you can fill in whatever word I can't put on video. So uh, let's start with the first, uh, we'll start with the first uh, pin over here. So we're gonna run that one over to, uh, let's see, that's gonna go to the first, uh, no, the third pin on the LED over here. So we're gonna run, let's see, what would fit there? This would, yeah, this would fit. All right, so we're gonna go from the first one here. We're gonna run it over here to the third pin, which is quite a stretch there, but it works. So that's uh, the first one. And uh, then the second one is gonna run over to the one right next to it. So this will be good. We're gonna be able to, uh, you know, just kind of, stretch them over and we can use the same length of uh, wiring if, uh, but this is, you know, this would be kind of easy in a way because you know, we just go side by side. But as you can see, we're getting to the point where this is not, mm -hmm. this really isn't the right length of wire, but I'm gonna try to make it work anyway. So I don't know how many of the other wires I'm gonna have. But yeah, that looks pretty stretched thin. All right, but it's in. So now we're going to take the third pin. The third pin is going to run all the way up to the top second pin from the right on the uh, LED. <clears throat> so I'm going to need a long one for this. Uh, so this is going to go, well, actually, hold on. I'm going to go from the third right here. Normally, I'd want to use a different color, but uh, don't really have a choice. So we're into the third pin. Uh, hold on, let me show it you can't really see it because these two are so close but yeah you see they're next to each other now we're going to go up here and we're going to go into the third uh and go into the third one over here so one two one two three i believe that's three so yeah that's that's the third pin from the right so we've got that correct. All right, now we've gone into the third pin from the right. That was the green one. Now we're gonna go from uh, for our fourth pin on the bottom side of the first IC chip. The fourth one is gonna go over to the uh, one, two, three, four, five, sixth. Uh, yeah, the sixth uh, position or three from the right on the LED matrix. So we're gonna go and we're gonna take, see if I can do a red one here. Um, or I'll just do a blue. So let's see a blue. We go from here and put this one into uh, where did I say that was going? That's going to go over to the uh, one, two, three, third from the right. So third from the right, one, two, three, right here. Again, we're really stretched on that, but 
I don't know what kind of wiring we're going to have left. So I kind of want to save the longer ones for other challenging things. So now that we've got that, we're going to go with the uh, one, two, three, four, fifth pin on the bottom side. The fifth pin is going to go over to uh, the one, two, third over. Wait, is that third over? One, two, three. I may have misconfigured a pin just a minute ago. So the third one over here this white one actually doesn't go to the third, it goes to the second pin. So it goes to number two and not three. And I just found that out because I needed to go into the third and it turns out we've already gone there. So we're gonna be putting in uh, our one, two, three, four, five, our fifth pin over here, right there, right. Looking ugly, going over to pin three. No, that's not going to work. I just need to need to find a longer one that will work. Um, I'll just use this red, and we'll go in from one, two, three, four. Yeah, I should be ashamed for the pins here, the wiring. And it's going to go into the third one up here. So we're going to go one, two, and three. So right next to the white one there. So we've got that. Now. Uh, we've got uh, the next one to do is the orange. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. The sixth pin on the bottom side of the IC is going to go to um, the second over from the the LED, the second over from the left. Wow, this is getting kind of crazy. So uh, this. It's going to go here to the second from the left. So I can put that down. Oops, but it's not long enough. So I'm going to have to choose another. Choose another. All right. So let's see if this will work. Will that work? Yeah. So I'll pin down here and then number six pin. Is so messed up. So that's our sixth pin. We're going to go over to the second over on the top. At this point, I'm thinking, my God, please let this thing work on the first time because, yeah, that's going to be a beast to uh, track down. All right, so we've got that. Now we're looking at the seventh pin on the bottom here. And we know that the eighth one is running into ground, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to look at the seventh uh, pin. So uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, the seventh pin. Where does seventh pin go? Seventh pin is going to go all the way up to the top on the second one. That Oh, no, the top on the first one. So yeah take that and go to the top of the first. So we may be able to, mm, it's going to be tight. Um, I'll use a slightly longer one. So I want to take the seventh one over here. And for the, Actually, let me just use a, I'll use a yellow one. I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to plug in up here right next to the IC, right next to the IC chip into the second and right there, that way I can see it better. And I can go over here into the, uh, I think it's the first. Let me just double check that after I do the damage. So the first one uh, does go, yep, that's the correct one. So now we've got the entire bottom of this going where they should go. Uh, some of them are stretched a little bit thin, but they are going where they should go believe. So um, yay for that. Of course, it's going to be hard to read the LED when we finish with it. We're going to have to look under all those wires, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right. Um, now we are going to wire up the other one. And let's see. So we've got the top of it all wired, I believe. Yeah, all the ones on the top are wired. Now we have to wire the bottom ones. So let's look at the first one. Where's the first one go? The first one goes to our second uh, resistor. 
So that's going to be nice and easy peasy. So we're just going to go in on the first one and I can just plug into the number here because I know that corresponds to it, which is why it's always nice to start on the numbers. So when you're doing that, it's not so bad. And I just go over here. I can see that we've already used the first one. So we're going to plug into the second one. And then the uh, next one is going to plug into the, yeah, actually these are going to be great because they're just going to mirror each other. So yeah, we're going to have short shunts here all the way. So um, so now we've got uh, the first one. We're going to do the second one. And it just goes over here on the other side. So we just go side to side for the most part. So now we go into this one here. And it goes into here. You'll notice a pattern. And we'll do a blue one. We'll go from here or into here. And then we'll do a uh, orange one just to say interesting. Uh, So keep on going. Reminds me of an old Churchill quote. He said, when you're going through hell, keep on going. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep on plugging, literally. So now we have exactly one more to do. Let's make it a uh, green one. No, yeah, let's make it a green one. So then we go and we plug into uh, da, 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 da. it's kind of hard to see for me. So I just need to get it right there and plug that into the last resistor. Okay. So all of our resistors are done and all of our bottom ones are done here, but you'll notice that the top of the resistors have not been done yet. So now we have to start uh, running our wires from the top of the resistors to wherever they are going to go. Ah, so top of the resistors, let's take a look at that. So the first resistor is going to the LED matrix uh, let's see, first resistor goes to uh, the LED matrix, uh, the one, two, three, four, fifth pin. So we're going to go from the first one. Hold on, maybe I'll use a slightly longer one. So we're going to go from the first resistor, which I know, wait, did I set these up on appropriately? Should have, yeah. So I'll just do it up here. So it'll go from the first one to the, uh, let's see, it goes from the first one to the one, two, three, four, fifth one on the bottom. So we set it up on there. So it'd be the one, two, three, four, fifth one over here. So it fits snugly in between this white and blue one. If I can get that one in. Yep. So there. So then our second, wait, hold on. Our second resistor, I think we already did. Second goes, or wait, did we? No, we did not. So second resistor uh, goes, second resistor, it's gonna go down on the bottom of our LED to the uh, second pin. So it goes down here to pin number two. All right, so we've got that. Uh, then our third resistor is going to go down to the uh, second pin on the bottom of the LED. So the one, two, three is gonna go around there. So I'm gonna use a 
longer one for this. And I'm going to plug into the third here. I'm going to go around. It's on the bottom. Uh, let's see, the bottom is going to the second pin. So it's going to the second pin on the bottom. All right. So now that we've got that, uh, we're going to do the fourth one. And that goes, fourth one's going to go to the first on the bottom. So the fourth one is going to go fourth one here goes into the did I say the first on the bottom the fourth yep first first on the bottom so we go into the wait do I have something in the first on the bottom already wait I'm looking at this I was supposed to have sent that that one the yellow one was supposed to go uh, to the second but it looks like I stabbed the first so yeah parallax view so I'm going to go ahead and put that over there in the second and then this one goes into the first one from side by side so we know gosh all right so there so that one goes fourth to first and then the yeah fourth to first and then the second to second so let me double check that. So fourth, one, one, two, three, four goes the first. That's right. And then the uh, the one that I plugged in the second is from the second. That is correct. So I have those plugged in correctly. Um, now, thinking back to what in the world was I doing? Um, so now the fifth one, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. The fifth one is going to go into the one, two, three, four, fifth on the LED. So that should be a short one. So we'll just use this green. So we're gonna go from five over here into number five on the top. So one, two, three, four, five right here. You can see we're slowly plugging up all the holes there. So not many left to do, yay. So, um, now we've got that done. What's our next step? One, two, three, four, five. Then the sixth one is going to go to the first on the bottom. Uh, so six that's going to go first on the bottom. Um, do a red for that. Sixth goes to the first on the bottom down here. Yay. All right. And now uh, the seventh one, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven is going to go to pin three on the LEDs. That's a short one. Uh, so our next one over here, so we go to pin three, and that's a very short jump. All righty. Uh, so then our last pin, our last resistor. It's going to go to the last LED. Yay. So I'll do that in orange. So this last one goes over to the last pin here. So now in looking at that, we have all eight on the top accounted for. Do we have all eight on the bottom accounted for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. It looks like we uh, have all eight on the bottom. So we've got eight on there, eight on the bottom. Got our power and ground run. We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four. We've got all of our pins running on the tops and bottoms. So at this point, I just tell you that it worked. And I don't have to run the code because you trust me that this works properly. And since we did it right, there's no need to check, right? Yeah? OK. Well, let me pull up the code and see if we can get this running. So I will plug in our matrix and see if we have any sparks fly. So we are plugged in. Absolutely nothing has happened. There's no lights coming on or anything. So I'm going to pull up the code and uh, get this thing hopefully to run. It's not coming up. I've got to do the initialize the project or the configure project so I can get my extensions activated.
And I will go ahead and run, run forest, run. Um, wait, no comm device sound. USB accessories disabled, unplug the accessory using too much power to re-enable USB devices. That was unexpected. So I do not know why I'm getting this error, but it's telling me on my thing. Uh, let me go ahead and plug this in and see what happens. Oh, wow. All right, uh, so here is the problem that I'm getting. I will go ahead and share my screen. So as you can see over here, well, actually it just went away. Um, the warning sign went away, but I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the, uh, the, pow the power here. I'm gonna plug it back in. When I do that, it comes up with, well, it didn't come up with it this time. I don't know, maybe it will run. Uh, that was weird. I, I had a message box that popped up that said something about my USB uh, powering and such. So I don't know what that was. I'm hoping it's nothing important. I'm gonna unplug my cable here and then plug it back in and see what happens. So I plugged in the Pico. Uh, it says Pico disconnected. I don't want it to be disconnected. Let me see if I can connect it. No comm device found. Auto connect setting has been disabled or, or no Pico has been found automatically. Huh, I don't know what this error is. Uh, this is very curious. I've been doing a lot of stuff with my USB lately. So I am going to unplug the cable and maybe plug it into a different port. I do notice that my USB is a little bit on the warm side. I'll plug it in on the back of my uh, system here. Let's see if it gives me any love. It is flat out not recognizing this. So I am going to probably have to do a restart of my system here. And that's gonna require me to break this into two videos. So I do apologize, but we'll go ahead and do the run of this in the next video. So I'm gonna stop it here and I will be back